All right, let's look at one sort of example here where uh, you may have to determine the equation of a shifted ellipse. Um, the first thing I want to try to do is locate the center. And so we have the foci here. One is up here on the x-axis, and the other one is four below the x-axis. That means our center is going to be halfway between, which would be two below the x-axis. So the center of this is at the ordered pair positive four or negative two. That means the equation for this ellipse is going to have a shifted x and a shifted y. These are going to be over something, and they're going to be plus because it's an ellipse. And since x is shifted right by 4, I need a minus 4. And the way to think about this is when you plug a positive 4 in for x, you're undoing the minus 4. Or vice versa, how do you undo a positive 4? You have to put a minus 4. How do you undo a negative 2 on the y? You put a plus 2 with the y. Now we just need the distances, horizontal and vertical distances here, from our picture. We'll square those and we'll put those under each of these, okay? Well, it's pretty, pretty clear here. The vertical distance from the center is 4, up and down. So 4 squared is going to go with the y, so that's 16. The horizontal distance is not so clear. Let's call that m for a minor axis, maybe. We don't know exactly what it is. But we do know that whatever it is, we're going to square it and put it here. The, other, the only other thing that we do know is the focal distance. That is 1, 2. We know that exactly. So now we use the Pythagorean theorem to find m squared, and then we'll be done. The biggest number out of these three is the 4, so that's like the hypotenuse in the Pythagorean theorem. So we have 4 squared equals 2 squared plus m squared. So m squared is going to be 16 minus 4, which is 12. Now we go back. We replace m squared, because that's all we need, with 12. And now we have the full equation of this shifted ellipse.